You want to know the number one excuse that I hear almost every day in my life? And you probably do too. Oh, it's fine. You know, I can just, I'll just, I'll just cheat on my diet once, you know, I don't do it every day. Or, you know, oh, I can, I can just watch a movie this once, you know, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's, it's one, it's just once, you know, the dose makes the poison. This coat pisses me off because it's so common in my life. It's so common in so many people's lives to just give the excuse, oh, it's fine. I'll just do it this once. Now you can say whatever you can give. You can have more limiting beliefs in this video and just cope even more. But I think the truth is, you give this excuse every day. You, you probably, which I, and I definitely used to and still do. Like, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even going to say, like, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. Like, I, I'm, I know I'm giving all this advice and stuff, but I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing everything that I'm preaching. I mean, I'm trying to, but I'm not doing everything. Like, I still give this excuse to this day. So I want to put notice out there that you probably are doing this. You are probably doing this every day. You're probably giving the excuse, oh, I don't do this every day, every day. You are probably doing this. And it's so common. Oh, the dose makes the poison. Like, oh, if you just do it a little bit, you know, it won't hurt you. Yeah, sure, if you, if you do it once a month, it's not going to kill you. If you cheat on your diet once a month, it's not going to kill you. But the problem is that we give this excuse for so many things that it's just come becomes so common that it's not every day. That it, that it is every day, sorry. That it's not just, oh, it's it's just once a, like one time every month. It starts to become like every day because you give it, you give this excuse for so many things, so many different things that you're just all of a sudden you're just back to your like self, like back to your normal bad habits, like your, your playing video games watching tv you're freaking sitting in your room like a little boy and i'm not even like again like i'm not i'm not saying i don't do this shit i'm not saying that i'm i'm perfect i'm not saying that oh you guys should start doing this because i'm like i'm like the perfect guy i know i i'm like you know I, I succeed at everything like this is definitely isn't true obviously but I just don't want to come across as, like, an asshole because I'm not perfect. And obviously you're not going to be perfect as well. But I just want to put notice out there that if you're giving this excuse of, oh, it's fine, you know, like, it, oh, it, it won't hurt me once. If I just do it once. And then you, you, you realize the next day when you wake up, or you realize that night, Dude, I wasted so much time today. You don't feel fulfilled. You don't you don't feel like the day was that productive. And you 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 fucking punch you like you kick yourself for it. You kick yourself for it. And you do this day after day after day and you keep getting pissed at yourself. See, this is why this is why I put, want to put this message out there because I used to struggle with this so much and I sometimes I, I still do a little bit. You you give this excuse and then the night where you're when you're journaling or whatever and then you realize shit dude today was fucking sucked today wasn't productive i mean yeah look look at the good side of the day look at look at the good side of life but i mean truly if you keep getting pissed off at, like at the end of the day that you can't stay on your shit you can't you keep giving excuses and you're pissed at yourself for giving yourself so many excuses and you want to stay on these on your good habits but you can't because you keep giving this excuse of, oh, it's just once. I want to put this out there. You're not alone. There's a lot of other people that experience this. And I definitely experience this way too much. So, how do you overcome this? How do you actually shut yourself up? How do you shut yourself up from giving, like, all these dumbass excuses? Sammy. My dog's getting away. By the way. Oh, where is he? There he is. <laughs> so how do you actually overcome this? Well, I think the best way that I've come up with, and I've actually, I've done this very recently, I've implemented this. <clears throat> it's setting reminders on your phone. At the, so, okay, let me 
explain this a little more. So, whenever you experience, like, whenever you most commonly experience, like, bad, like, whenever you do your bad habits, what, when, whenever you do your bad habits, set a reminder on your phone. So, for me, recently, I have starting to, like, getting a little bit addicted to, like, the TV because my freaking family is watching it so much, and I'm uh, starting to, like, watch it a little more just because, you know, it's there. I give, I love to give myself, I love to give myself the excuse, oh, it's fine, like, I can enjoy my life, but (sighs) what I like to do is, like, set a reminder on my phone for, like, seven o'clock, so usually when it is, is around, like, seven at night, and start watching TV, and then I get sidetracked, and I get to bed late, I put a reminder on my, on my phone at seven, and I'm like, did you get ready for bed, you motherfucker, (laughs) I put a reminder on my phone, and I'm like, stop fucking watching this shit, like, get ready for bed, bro, like, and then I remind myself of, like, my purpose, and it's just a whole thing, I put a reminder on my phone, and that, that, surprisingly, that actually, that works a good amount, and another limiting belief, or another excuse that you might be giving, um, like, that goes along with this, this, this excuse of, like, oh, it's fine, I'm just doing it once, Sammy, come here, hey, Sammy, come here, Ah, stupid dog. Just keeps walking away from me. (sighs) The other excuse that you might be giving is... other excuse that you might be giving is that like oh like you don't you don't want to be like you don't want your parents to think you're like like I don't know like you don't want your parents to be like or anyone else to be like oh why are you going to bed like why don't you hang out with us or your parents are pressuring you or your the people you're with are pressuring you to Like, you think they're gonna, you have this belief that they're gonna, like, pressure you into staying and, like, watching TV with them. I wanna say this. Fuck them. Now, this isn't to be mean or anything. Like, yeah, be respectful to your parents and everything. And they're they're awesome. Like, your parents are awesome, even if they're, like, annoying sometimes. They're awesome, like, they, they care for you when, when you, like, when you're growing up. But the, the, the problem is, like, so many parents just aren't supportive. And some parents just don't know how to parent. It's just the truth, like, it, and it sounds like I'm being an asshole and I'm being mean. Some, a lot of parents just don't know how to parent. So, fuck them. Be on your purpose. It's your purpose, not theirs. They can't choose what you can do with your life. So, even if they tell you, oh, it's, like, even if they give you this excuse of, oh, it's fine, you can just, like, enjoy your life with us for once, like, oh, like, this dessert is so good, like, why don't you give it a try, like, it's just good, like, it's just once, you can have it for once, you're not gonna be, like, unhealthy if you just eat this once. If they keep giving you that excuse, shh, like, don't, don't say this, but, like, say in your brain, like, just shut, like, no, I'm not gonna do it, just say no, just say no. Because this is your life, not theirs. This is your purpose, not theirs. You need to stay on your purpose. If you feel like shit after you eat dessert, don't eat the fucking dessert. Don't fall for their trap. Don't fall for their excuses. It's your life. You get to choose what you do with it. So you you can fall for these excuses. You can do whatever you want. But I think you should follow your purpose. I think you should... Not do these bad habits and just give this excuse of, oh, it's fine. Because it's not fine. It's not fine. Truly, it's not fine. 
if you look at the world today, this one excuse, oh, it's fine, has shaped the world to be fucking weak. This excuse of, you know, it's, it's like, oh, I'm young, I can, I can do this, you know, I'm young and healthy, so I can, I can eat dessert here or there. Man, this is how the world has been shaped to, like, so many obese kids. There are fucking, like, obese fucking kids. And this is why. Because of this dumbass excuse. Oh, it's fine. You always just want to give excuse after excuse after excuse. This is why you're not getting any progress. This is why. Now do what you will with this. But... I want to say that this excuse has shaped the world to be weak. So if you follow this excuse, you'll probably become weaker. You'll stop progressing towards your purpose. You'll become slower in the race of man. You become slower and you won't win. So when you're actually... When you come up with this excuse, when, when your brain comes up with this excuse, when you actually encounter this, and you, you actually, like... Once you actually gain the knowledge that this excuse is bullshit, when you give this excuse, you know it's bullshit. Like, you know, shit, man, I shouldn't be doing this. But you do it anyway because you're, you're like, addicted to the shit. So, you realize that it's bullshit. So, this is where accountability comes in. You set reminders on your phone. You tell your family, can you guys just please, like, sit them down. Actually have a, like, a good, like, long, like, actual fucking adult conversation with them. And actually be like, okay... Like, this is, like, what I want to do with my life. Like, I want to, like, be working hard. I want to be getting up early. Can you guys, like, actually, like, can you guys tell me, like, oh, it's time to get ready for bed and actually, like, like remind me of things. Can, set reminders on your phone. Be, like, put shit on your wall being, like, dude, get the fuck to bed, your purpose, and set re- hold yourself accountable it's accountability i love this word accountability accountability i love this word so become more accountable and you'll realize you'll remember either this video or you will you'll remember yourself like you'll remember how much you hated when you you when you weren't productive that day and you'll be like shit dude i should get on the shit and like do some fucking push-ups or something (laughs) all right wait actually i'm gonna end this video in like a fucking how do i do this wait shit i'm trying to like oh there's leaves in the way can i do this (laughs) wait hold up i'm trying to like end this way in a cool way wait hold up Oh, wait, this might just be a waste of time if I just end it. Oh, no, shit. Alright, do some push-ups with me. You can't even, no. Get- <laughs> wait, do some push-ups with me. Do some push-ups. Alright, man. That's it, man. Peace out. See you in the next video. Mwah.